Mental Fox here with more Baldur's Gate 3. And <laughs> look at all these icons next to our character here. We've we, we drank this elixir of hill giant strength a, a while back. And uh, we will have the effects of that strength increase to 21 until we do a long rest. Of course, we've got our speak with animals. We've got our detect thoughts. We've got our long strider. We've got the moon shield. We've got a blessing of Saluna. We could see invisibility and we've got high spirits. What are we going to do with all that? Well, I think I said in the last episode, maybe we go up here, we go back this way, and then head up this way and clear out some more of this fog. Uh, that'll give me an opportunity to go back here, which I think is where that um, Sharan Temple was. I was told that I missed a statue down here. So I think that's where that is. I hope I'm right. I could be wrong. So we're going to do that, but before we do that, uh, I've been encouraged to examine the Moon Lantern. So I don't think I've done that, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. See, I've got some broken Moon Lanterns, and then I have the actual Moon Lantern itself. And uh, it's telling us, um, let's see here, has the Moon Shield Aura. Each framed facet of the Lantern Glass is pierced by lances and long tendrils of eerily beautiful moonlight. Okay. And, um... I mean, we could hit people with it if we want to. Uh, I could spin it around here. But, um... Yeah. Um... There it is. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure what I was supposed to see from that. Um, so yeah, if I'm still missing something, let me know. But, uh, there it is. There's the moon lantern. It's cool looking. It's red. I don't know what this... There's a little tiny icon here in the lower left -hand corner of the picture itself. It looks like a helmet or something. I'm not sure what that means. It's not down here. But, um, yeah. There it is. All right. Yeah, not sure what I was supposed to see there. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go up this way. Team will climb up this, uh, did I, did I search him? Surely I did. Yeah, Inquisitor Verzen Ranlock down there. And then we're going to go back here over th to the toll house. There's this great musical score plays. Back here. Signpost here. Okay, and now I believe we turn north, and it'll take us up here. Try not to step on anything and get tetanus. So this here is the Sharan Temple, and we're going to go down in, in there and take a look at... Um, third statue that we missed the first time I was here. And I think it's the statue in the center of the room, which I did see, but I guess I didn't notice that there was a uh, plaque to read. Yep, here it is right here. I'm not sure how I missed that, but there it is. I don't know. I'm going to say I missed it because these stairs were in the way. Yeah, that's it. So I think we want Shadowheart to do the honors here. Let's have her read the plaque. Are you bold of heart and sharp of tongue? Can you turn any and all to the Dark Lady's cause? Well, if anyone can, it's Shadowheart. She is a cleric of Shar. We could just nod. With Shar's words on your tongue and teachings in your heart, none can deny you. Or we could be stupid and try this instead. Summon your faith and devotion, letting it flow through you. Or we could just leave. Well, we're a cleric of Shar. Let's go ahead and do this. 
confidence surges through you. You feel like there is nothing you can't do, no one you can't win over. The statue seems to agree and approve. Okay. Ooh, cool. Acolyte honing the darkness. Shadowheart is inspired. Gain a little bit of experience there. Mm, let's see. Acolyte, Shadowheart. Um, honing the darkness past all of Shara's tests in the middle of the cursed town. We've done that. I don't think that gave Shar any effects over here. But yeah, let's, let's see what this is. Ritual Dagger of Shar and... I think that's all that's in here that... I think there's another... Yeah, there's the plaque over here, which we've already read. There's a plaque over here, which we've already read. This is the plaque we just looked at. Ritual Dagger of Shar. Now, does um, Shadowheart uh, loot um, the Temple of Shar? I mean, she looks. Does she loot? I don't know. Let's see. Well, she's not finding anything. But uh, this Ritual Dagger of Shar, she probably is going to pick that up. Does 5 to 11 damage. Some piercing, some necrotic. The blade is sharp and the handle firm, yet death exudes from this dagger as it might from a fresh corpse. Okay, dagger, light, finesse, throne. Okay. I mean, do I want to mess with this? I don't know. 5 to 11 damage. I mean, I'm going to take it, but I really don't know if I'm going to bother to have her equip it. An altar to Shah. It appears to seek prey and a blood offering. Your blood. Oh. Okay. Sure. Uh, Cleric of Shah, take up the dagger, recite Shah's wisdom, and offer blood from your arm. Or we could just say the dagger won't be missed. Take it. No, we're gonna we're gonna offer up a little bit of blood. Let's just take this all the way to the conclusion, I guess. Holy cow, that's a big dagger. There's a sword. Oh. Uh, Sage, partaking in local customs. Gale is inspired. Okay, gaining all kinds of inspiration around here. Some strange sounds coming from behind us. Gale. Partaking in local customs. Perform the ritual in the Sharan Sanctuary. Gail liked that. Okay. And then uh, we've got a scroll of Revivify, a scroll of Blight, Elixir of Necrotic Resistance, Potion of Angelic Reprieve, and the Altar, if we look at it. Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess we're just going to pick these things up. These are our rewards, perhaps, for um, passing the test. Take that. So the dagger's still here. Um, I guess we leave it there, as it's part of the the ritual, right? Like I said, um, I don't think it's any better than the weapon that Shadowheart's currently using. Breathing. Despite everything. So there's really no reason to take it other than klept klepto kleptomania. Another step forward. Is that a word? Alright, let's go ahead and exit here. Thank you for reminding me to go back there. Well not reminding me, telling me that I missed something. That's cool. Alright, so now we're going to just go north here. Let's kind of go northeast towards the Mason's Guild. We'll open up this, and then we'll go that way. So northeast is kind of uh, this direction here. 
got uh, a wall here. I think this might be where we saw that person spying on us, the one who disappeared. Uh, I think she was a gnome, I think. Rythwin Mason's Guild. A couple of skeletons standing there. Got a bunch of stone got here. On the ground. This was a Mason's Guild. See that they symbol? Artists. Oh. You can tell because it's a mess in here. <laughs> this symbol here is what Fox was talking about. Uh, we got some heavy oak doors here. Bunch of stone here. A bronze ingot. I mean, do I want to pick this up? I don't know. Let's go ahead and pick it up. Maybe we'll use it for something at some point. Don't know. Here goes nothing. Some doors here. been here before. Kind of remember that. Got wooden crate, wooden barrel. Nothing for us in there. Anything of use? Uh, some water. We'll go ahead and send on that on back to camp, I guess. A, we a weathered chisel set. Do I want that? Apparently, I don't know. Got a hammer. Let's see if there's anything in this barrel. Nothing of any use. Over here this direction we're probably looking over at last light maybe the dome that surrounds it that bubble nothing over there Maybe there were some roots we could climb down there, but apparently not. Let's go back in here. So we could go through there. Or we could go over here to these skeletons, try to get in the front door. What's the deal with these skeletons? Let this be a warning. Those who defy Shah's will shall suffer darkness without her blessing. I see. A lot of Sharness going on around here. And you, sir? What what do you have to say? Let this be a warning. Oh, okay, same thing. Those who defy Shah's will shall suffer darkness without her blessing. Well, let's uh let's check out the perimeter of this place before we go in. It's kind of a tradition. ladder here. Some wooden crates and trunks. So we can't go that way, but we can climb the ladder. Let's do that. There's, see, can we get over there? No. I don't think there's any reason for us to walk over here. Ah, look at this. A heavy chest. Uh, inside, some holy water. And some gold. Masons won't be needing that. this? Answer me, please. Arabella. Is this what? 
Is this one of the children that's missing? I can't remember their names. Do I want to jump over here and then try to make my way over there? Come on, team. Follow me over here. Let's see here. Um, rescue the tieflings. Oh, gosh. Remember, remember those tieflings that are in the cells of Moonrise? <laughs> we still have to go back and get them. Where? Okay, so Mole's missing. We know that. Um, but aren't there other children that are missing? Uh, I mean, just scrolling through this, um, I'm not seeing any mention of children. Still have this thing here about searching a cellar. Oh, that book. Yeah. Um, wow. Zevlor. Don't remember that. Whew, a lot of stuff, man. A lot of stuff, but I thought that um, the, the tiefling that we met in the last episode, or the episode before, the guy that was drunk back at Last Light In, he was upset because some people were missing. Maybe they weren't children. I don't know, man. It's too much to keep track of. Tombstone. What does it say? Oh, wait a minute. Whoa. Whoa. Are rats safe to pet, says Arabella. <laughs> okay. Hi, 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 Arabella. Whoa. Huh? Hey! I know you! You're... Oh, no. Oh, that's a neat trick. Isn't that Arabella? The little girl Corgan nearly killed. Sorry. It knocks the wind right out of me. Oh, gosh. I don't remember who Cargo was. Sheesh. Well... We could say, I'd be more impressed if you'd actually killed it. We could say, Arabella, you should be with your parents. Oh, thank you. This reminded me enough. Okay. Wow, we're talking all the way back in the the uh, the guild. Was it? The Why did I want to say the Emerald Guild? I don't know. Anyway, all the way back in the guild, this girl stole something. And like the, he the head druid there, Kaga wasn't happy about it, and so Kaga was going to have her killed, but then we intervened. This is that little kid. So, Arabella, you should be with your parents. Or we could say, what are you doing out here? It's not safe. Or we could use our bard knowledge and say, quite the powerful spell. Bet there's a great story behind you learning it. Yeah, let's ask. That druid idol I took? Uh -huh. It changed me. I can do all sorts of stuff now, not just the vines. I think real hard and say some loud words, and then it happens, mostly. I see. Wow. Okay. A lot of stuff. Uh, we can continue with our bard knowledge and say, normally, tales of stolen artifacts are tragedies. I'm glad you've bucked that trend. Let's say that. Tragedies? Them's the sad ones, right? I hope not. Especially since Mom and Pops, after Zevlor, when he... Well, there was an ambush. Mum yelled, run! So we ran. I could hear him run behind me. Till I couldn't. Still can't find him. But I bet you can. You'll help me, I just know it. Mm-hmm. Well, we could say, forget it, kid. You can take care of yourself from the looks of it. We could say, and how much gold will you give me in return? We could say, I'll think about it. My hands are full with these cultists. Or I'll find your parents. You can count on me. Oh, come on. You know that we're going to find your parents. Oh, thanks, mister. I knew you'd help me again. The vines won't last forever. I don't... I don't suppose I can stay with you. 
Just till you find Mum and Pops. I won't be any trouble, I swear it. <laughs> Why do I think she's going to be trouble? Uh, we could say, of course, you could stay at my camp. Uh, we could say, there's an inn called Last Light. Alfir is there, you'll be safe. Or we could say, forget it, no kids in my camp. Huh, what do I want to do? Um... I don't know, I kind of like the idea of her going back to Last Light. I think she'll be safe there. Let's send her there. No way. Oh. I mean, I'm sure you think that. Oh. But you ain't seen what I seen. I don't trust no one sides myself no more. Save three. Mum, Pops, and you. <laughs> Take me in. I won't make a peep. Cross my heart and hope to die. Okay, fine. Go on back to camp. Oh, thanks. You're the best. So you send Mum and Pops there. I'll be waiting, Hero Man. Hero Man? I like the sound of that. All right, we had a couple of journal entries updated here. Find Arabella's parents. I think this one's new. I didn't see this one before, of course. Uh, search for Arabella's parents. We met Ella Arabella, a tiefling child from the Grove in the Shadow Cursed Lands. She was looking for her parents. We offered to search for them and invited her to our camp. Cool. And then, um... I thought I saw something else get updated. Yeah, it was something about Zevlor here. Find Zevlor. Zevlor was captured by the cult of the Absolute. His fellow tieflings claim he froze and tried to surrender. We should look for him. Now, this is the same text that was here before, but I I thought I saw it say Find Zevlor was updated. But that looks like the same text to me. Uh, so she twisted up those, um... Shadows. Who's this here? Shadow. Okay, the shadows are over here. Uh, are they on the other side? Let me press this button here. There they are. Oh, that's weird that they're neutral right now. That's strange. Uh, before we deal with those, I want to see what these tombstones say. In memory of Kayla Bellsworth. Thrice married, thrice widowed. Always smiling. Hmm, okay. And another tombstone over here. Here lies Sister Kevin, a more devoted mendicant never lived. Wow, there's a lot of tombstones. Well, I'll try to read them all, but I may get lost. Lose track. In memory of Reuven Corley, who lived stoically and died without complaint. Uh -huh. uh, here's some black oleander we'll pick up. Tombstone here. Here lies faithful Jamie, the love of all our lives. Tombstone here. Nothing? Wait, who's this over here? Somebody up there. I'm not sure who this is. Well, they're standing above Komira, who's dead. And just for a split second, it looked like I had the mouse in the right position, but I guess maybe not. We'll worry about that when we get there. Uh, what's the deal with this tombstone? Behold the mortal remains of Marvy Bullows, town crier. <laughs> Died loudly. Okay. Alright, sometimes it takes multiple clicks, apparently. Well, I guess sometimes there's just nothing to say. I don't know. Uh, there's more tombstones up here, but before we go that way, let's deal with these, um, shadows, shall we? So we got this shadow here with 24 hit points, we got this one here with 24, but what's interesting is that, like I said, they're, they're showing up as neutral right now. Um, I mean, it didn't, it didn't throw us into turn-based mode. But these shadows are not going to be friendly to us. Weave bound vines. Vines crafted from the very weave itself. A most unorthodox enchantment. Oh, these guys are... They're vulnerable to radiance. Care to do the honors, Shadow Hearts? I'm ready. Let's do it. care of him. <laughs> Temporarily hostile. Okay. Uh, does anybody else do radiant damage? 
don't know if anybody does. This is just regular damage. For some reason, I feel like somebody else has something that does radiant damage. But I'm not seeing it. Fox? Still breathing, despite everything. <laughs> so dramatic. Um... I mean, I guess it doesn't have to be radiant damage, but, um... It is the best. Does Shadowheart get to go again? Let's end this. No, she does not, because she's already gone. The dance macabre. Uh, let's see here. I don't think that we're hiding. No, we do have advantage. Let's do it. 21. Nice. You want to go finish him off? Go ahead. Excellent. Or not. Okay. You go stand over there and think about what you've done. I wonder if this is worth the cost. I wonder if this is worth the cost, Wonders Fox. You picked the wrong fight, friend. Great sound effects. We've got two shadow vestiges here. Let's check them out. Seems simple enough. You sense a matriarch's flush of pride. She will soon be a grandmother. And the child will bear her name. Muldred. Muldred. You sense a swell of grief. Before the shadows took her, this woman mourned someone lost in battle. Hmm. We got some stairs that go down here. If not over, then through. I haven't been down here before. This is just outside of the Sharan Temple here. Okay, let's go back. I'm gonna go read the rest of these tombstones. And then we'll go west and see who those people are that we saw. The skeleton might be worth a look. Let's read the tombstones first. In memory of Eberk Trollbleeder, his tall tales shall be greatly missed. Oh. Whoa, what's... Oh my gosh, what's going on down here? Pile of bodies. Oh, big mass grave. Come on. I'm not sure why some of these can't be read. Here lies oh. Imolata Cole. The music of the moon played on her heartstrings. Hmm. Uh, a couple more tombstones here. Here lies Machaeus, taken before his time. Hmm. Okay. You just do whatever you want, game. Okay. Skeleton. Uh, a bottle. True love's caress. Fond caress. One of a magical pair of rings. This allows the wearer to receive warding bond from a creature wearing the matching ring. What's warding bond? Warding bond. Ward an ally. They gain resistance to all damage and a plus one bonus to their armor class and saving throws. Each time the ally takes damage, you take the same amount of damage. Each time the <clears throat> excuse me, each time the warded creature takes damage, the spellcaster takes the same amount of damage. Yeah, you mentioned that. Interesting. The most pragmatic and courageous lover ever known was, of course, Sorcha McTyre, for whom the popular hairstyle is named, and for whom many an extremely soppy poem has been written, most of them comparing her to geography. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, okay. Uh, skeleton. Pick that up. Bonded by Love, Wife's Diary. 
In the fifth year of our union, we faced the biggest hurdle yet. My parents became quite ill and we became their caretakers. It was a dark and difficult time filled with emergencies of every possible type. Gone for the ease, easeful days in which our time was our own, our days were filled with work, each other, and little else. During our darkest moments, I wondered if we'd survive it. But the bond of love we had was resilient. It could bend and bend and bend, but would not break, no matter the pressure. Oh, isn't that lovely? And, um, now? Do we... Do I really climb down in here to loot these guys? Nothing. No traps, please. Two gold pieces. No sense letting those go to waste. Can't reach that skelly. You want to tell me a tombstone thing now, game? Here lies Gertrude the Monsoon Rafferty. She came and went like a natural disaster. Okay. No. No. Okay. Well, sad, 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 sad. Sad place here. Let's look, see, see where we're on the map. Okay, we're just here east of the House of Healing. We saw some people down here. I don't know if they're going to be friendly or not. Um, do we go through here? Well, there's tombstones, but nothing to read. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely walking on top of people's graves here. The way this person is standing makes me think that they're not okay. Sister Lidwin. Let's examine her from afar. Oh my. Huh. She's an undead. But she's showing up as non-hostile at the moment. I don't know how long it'll stay that way. It's at a five. Whoa! What's going on over here? What the heck is this all about? What in the world? What's wrong with his hands? See here how I soothe each vein with the tenderest touch. Huh, okay. <laughs> In the world and these sound effects are fantastic somebody named lock lying there on the ground it looks like oh this tree is climbable is there anything I want up here why did the game let me climb up here Could climb down this side if we want. Can we even go up here? We can. <laughs> okay. Um. Wow. Up here in the. I don't know what the right word is. Rafters. Of what it's what appears to be a church. Potion of invisibility and a ball. The exterior of this toy ball is tough or rough with tooth marks. Well, let's take it. I don't know. Don't mind if I do. And then there's a stuffed bear as well. This bear, off torn and repaired seems one good squeeze away from crumbling into moldered stuffing and threadbare patchwork. Well, I'm going to take it also, just for whatever reason. I don't know, maybe somebody down below wants it and we can give it to them, I don't know. Let's see here. 
Can I light the chandelier from here? I can. Oh, oh, and then it goes right. I forgot. They go right out. That is the most frustrating thing. <laughs> I hate that they go out. What's going on over here? There's a button over here. What is this? Oh, turn-based mode. Oh, do you think there's like electricity on this thing? Is that what's going on? Huh. Oh, jeez, I don't even know. There's no time to waste. Oh, not enough resources. Oh, she can't jump off. Oh, crap. Um, really? Is that what's going on here? Can she just walk over there? She can, okay. Um, exit turn-based mode. I don't, well, let's, let's split everybody up. Exit turn-based mode. Oh, what? Ah, oh, crap, the shadow curse. Doggone it. Ah. No. All right, go on over here. Watch the shadows. Oh. Just stand right there, will you? The dog is standing on this thing. And oh no, where are you going? Why are you going over there? <sighs> Just come right here. Go here. Come here. Okay. I wanted him to just stand right there, but apparently I. No, no, no. Apparently he won't go there. Okay. So I guess he's fine. Doesn't seem to have... Oh, well, maybe it did do a little bit of hurt to him. I don't know. So there's a button here. Get this button here. I've got a long road ahead. Uh, Scratch. Why you come on over here, buddy? Okay. Fox, what happens if you press this button? progress. Clunk, it says. Okay. Uh, we got ooh, a library and records over here that's locked. Let's see. Do you think we have a key to it? No. It's locked. Hmm. Um. Astarion. Careful, I bind. Oh, yeah, but can you jump far? Ah, oh, crap. You can't jump that far? Let's see. Let's see if this is good enough. Okay. Astarion, can you unlock this door, man? You're, you're pretty good about these things. It's almost guaranteed. With pleasure. He's insane. And we're in, no problem at all. Okay, so we've unlocked it. The only person left behind is Gale now. Seek and you shall find me. Gale, can you make this jump, buddy? I mean, I'm guessing this thing's electrified. I don't know. Okay, let's get the gang back together. What to do? We've got death and divinity, a godly guide. We've got... stuff I can't interact with. Some nice uh, paintings here. Oh, portrait of a woman. Her cheeks are filled with a blush that seems altogether unrealistic until you meet someone who is, in fact, permanently embarrassed. <laughs> I was not expecting it to say that at all. <laughs> I'll take that with me. What a horrible thing to do. Just take that. This beautiful piece of artwork decorating this place. And we're just like, oh, I'm, I'm going to take that. Why? I don't know. I don't need the gold. We're freaking filthy rich. We have hundreds, if not thousands of gold pieces worth of stuff back in our camp. Death and divinity, a godly guide. Let's see what this does. Death is too powerful a force for even a single god to contain. It is a duty that has been passed from hand to hand, splintered into smaller pieces, disease, war, funeral rites. 
but there must always be an overseer of the cycle as life falls away. We already read this. I remember reading this before. Uh, there's a gilded chest over here. Get ready. Oh. Okay. Gilded chest. Oh, Mustarion, your services are required. Well, where'd it go? It's over here. Go. Would you please lockpick this for us? Let's crack it open. Who's this headless person over here? <laughs> crack it open. Oh, critical success. Unlocked. No one stopped me yet. Step aside. It's Fox's job to look inside of these things. 163 gold. Hmm. Let's see how here. We've got blush cap mushroom, shadow fungus, pig's head. Is it like an actual pig's head? It is. Why is this here? Baked in the finest oils and sprinkled with spices, this is an amnion delicacy. Well, I don't want to eat it, but uh, we're going to go ahead. Oh, she open? Oh, okay. Uh, I guess, well, I guess I'm going to pick it up. Skeleton. Okay, that's what I opened a moment ago. This place is kind of insane. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. All right. My team was going to go back inside and come back out over here. Yeah, I think I do want them to do that. Let's go, team. Oh, crap. It's going to go... Oh, no. Oh. Okay, the team's going to run all the way around that shocky part right there. Good job, team. Nice pathfinding. What have we here? Bedroll. Book of Poetry. We've got two skellies here. Three gold pieces. Uh, we got a dagger. We'll send that on back to camp. Book of Poetry. A book of handwritten poems. The ink almost completely faded, but for a few enduring words. I hold my breath for the sun to fall, for in the hot collapse of day I'm brought to you. While Rythwin sleeps, the world entire is ours. The grass, our bed, the dew, our silver candles. The moon and stars, our private canopy, and you, the brightest of them all. My light, my heart, my world. I would watch the stars with you to the end of time, but night forever arches into day, and the sleepy nothing of the sunlit hours will mutter on. So instead I shall find eternity in a moment and by the glance of moonbeams in your eyes will I be brought to rest. And rest should be, enduring still, longing for naught but itself. Nice. Yoink. And we'll take their drink. <laughs> uh, when I see something like this, I mean, was this like a... a, a I don't know. There was, the, one of them had a dagger. Was it a murder-suicide? Did they kill each other both at the same time? Was there poison in that wine? You know, how did they end up dead here at the same time? And why? Sad story. Okay, so we're going to head back over to where we just were. Back into this library here. Uh, row of books. Is there anything interesting? There's not. Another row. Nothing. Another. Nothing. Look at the walls here. 
the beautiful tile. Look at that. Lovely. Anything in the wooden desk? Oh, a quill, an ink pot, and a hospital library key. Is this the room that we're currently in? The library? I don't know. Uh, scroll of sea invisibility. Fox doesn't need that, but we'll take it anyway. Oh, got some chains here. Not sure what's up with that. We've got a silver knife over here that I guess I'm going to pick up. I don't know. I bet that will fit in my pack. It might. I don't know. Your pack's getting pretty doggone full. That's pretty neat. You can see inside of it. That's cool. Handkerchief. Okay. Is there anything special about it? Plain, foldable, and pocket-sized. Everything you could want from a handkerchief. Okay. Over here we've got more rows of books. Uh, we've got a scroll of Phantasmal Killer. Haunt a creature with its worst nightmares. It takes 4 to 40 psychic damage per turn, cannot move, has disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls. Wow, that seems pretty brutal. Okay. Got ourselves another gilded chest over here. It's locked. Starion. Close. Oh, for a skeleton key. Let's get in there. And we're in. We've got an arrow of fiend slaying. Deals double damage to fiends. Oh, hold on a minute. Now. What do you think? Touch me. What do you think you're doing, Astarion? You know that this is Fox's job. Uh, arrow of Elmater, a gold chalice, and 63 gold. Some gloves over here that are important enough to highlight. These padded vambraces? Balances light protection with a dexterous expression impossible in heftier gauntlets. I mean, do I want these? I don't think I do. Oh, they're worth quite a bit. Yoink. Room for more. Over here, more Some rows of side. books. Uh, scroll of Wall of Fire. Wood desk. Nothing we want. Rows of books. The Lords of Madness, Volume 4, Yinagu. This book, a fine red leather, seems ageless, but the smell of rotting flesh emanates from its pages? Uh huh. Of all the demon lords, few have made their mark on the world as firmly as Yinagu. Though his ravenous hunger is claimed to be a mindless compulsion, there is nothing mindless about the thorough insinuation of his presence in the world via his chosen, Knolls. But how are Knolls created? First, a chosen of Yinagu must do as their master wills, kill. A hyena that then feasts on the corpse of the chosen's victim and then Knoll is born of the glutted belly of the hyena. Knolls thus born are hunger manifest. They ravage any living being, tearing body and bone asunder, leaving behind only bones. They care not for wealth or material gain, only to satiate their hunger. That, sa that satiation is in itself an offering to Yinagu, funneled directly to him. Some might envy the Knolls for such a tangible connection to their creator god, but that envy would melt to utter terror as soon as the beast's rotting breath and wicked cackles make their way through the dark of night. If you should find yourself the object of Knollish pursuit, burn your corpses, cover your scent, and pray to whoever might aid you, for there is no bribing, begging, or reasoning with hunger incarnate. Oh my. 
Another row of books here. Scroll of Banishment. And then we've been out here already. All right. Um, there is uh, another part of the ceiling, a roof out here. Doesn't look like there's anything for us out here, though. So I keep seeing mention of roots. Ah, right here. That will take us down. Well, we might do that in the next episode, or we might find another way down and around. I don't know. A little bit worried about what might be going on beneath us down here with all these people in yellow. These weird looking people here. Um, these guys. Not sure what's up. But we will find out in the next episode. It's, it's time for me to end this one here. As always, I thank you for joining me. This game continues to remain amazing. I'm having a lot of fun playing it. I hope you're having fun watching me play it. If you are, why don't you let me know? Let me like or a comment. Thanks for all your comments and for letting me know when I miss things. You guys are great. And I hope I see you all again in the next episode. <laughs>